Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago Season 11 discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a really, really bad idea that I think the ninja might actually go ahead and try to play out in the actual season and why it is obviously a very, very bad idea. Now, do keep in mind that everything I'm about to say in this video is strictly my own speculation and is not confirmed in any way, shape, or form. This is just me theorizing about what could happen in the upcoming season of Ninjago, and yeah, let's get into it. So first of all, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, we do have the introduction of the Fire Chapter and presumably the Ice Chapter, which will probably be a big thing going on in the Season 11 story. The Fire Chapter is obviously focused around Esfira and her Pyro Viper army, and if there is an Ice Chapter, it will probably be about the Forsaken Emperor and all of that. So very interesting stuff going on there. We also do know that the Scrolls of Forbidden Spinjitsu will play a big part in the season in some way, but we really don't know how. But here's how I think things could, you know, phase into one chapter to another. So basically right now we're in the Fire chapter, and of course Zane has been seeing visions of the Ice Samurai as well. So essentially I think Woo is going to go ahead and explain to the ninja how long ago there was an ancient war between the Pyro Vipers and the Ice Samurai, and the ninja being the ninja and not really thinking will probably think oh okay here's what we can do we can go ahead and open up the ice samurai and release them then that way the ice samurai can take on the pyro vipers and everything will be okay well no that, that's probably not gonna work there because again if these two factions have been at war prior to the events of ninjago season 11 then it's hard to say that any of them are actually good guys we know for a fact that the ice samurai will probably be villains so releasing them out of their tomb to go ahead and fight the pyro vipers might seem like a good idea in theory, but essentially I believe Zane is going to be the one to say, hey, maybe this is a bad idea, maybe let's not do this, and then when they eventually do get out, it'll be the ninja versus the ice samurai after the pyro vipers have been defeated, and it'll basically be the ice chapter now. So basically what I'm saying here is that season 11 will probably have two villainous factions. They will probably have the pyro vipers towards the beginning, and starting from the second half, or as soon as the pyro vipers are defeated, there will probably be the ice samurai. I doubt that we're going to be seeing both of these teams fighting alongside each other or fighting the ninja together. The most that I can see happening is that they'll probably just meet in the middle and they'll, you know, defeat one another. The Ice Samurai will probably defeat the Pyro Vipers and then the ninja will be like, oh, okay, everything's cool now. But no, the Ice Samurai are also villains and now the ninja have to deal with them. This is a very Ninjago plot, and I could definitely see this happening. I mean, the ninja accidentally released the Pyro Vipers, so it, it would make sense that they would, you know, purposely release the Ice Samurai thinking that, hey, you know, these guys can help us, whilst in reality, they're also villains, and they will also try to freeze over Ninjago the best that they can. So definitely going to have some conflicting motivations here. I mean, the ninja, let's be honest, the ninja have never been the most intelligent group of individuals out there. I mean, Zane is really the only one that actually has any common sense out of the entire of the team. I mean, everyone else is just kind of, you know, they're, they're not the they're not the most logical team out there, but, you know, they still get the job done, and I don't have any doubts that they will walk away victorious towards the end of the season. They just have to deal with all of the conflicts arising in Ninjago first with the Pyro Vipers and the Ice Samurai. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It'll just about do it for this one. Feel free to leave a comment talking about what you think about all this. Will the ninja accidentally release the Ice Samurai in hopes that the actual Ice Samurai themselves will take out the Pyro Vipers? Again, that really seems like a Ninjago plot, so I wouldn't be surprised if it actually happens. But of course, feel free to leave all your thoughts on that down below. I look forward to reading those. With all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video here. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating. And of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again, guys, the comment comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. In the description, you will find the links towards my other forms of social media, whether it be my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon, or my merch. Be sure to support me on all those platforms if you would like to. With all that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell. Mm -hmm.